tell you about the brief description about how to use Moodle. So, this is the address of the link where you have to, where you can access the Moodle. It's like www.it.itb.se.in slash Moodle. So, the, you have got the slip, uh, the paper slip. There is the link of the Moodle. Uh, you, it must have the username and the password in it. So, what you have to do? You have to go to this link. Whenever you have to submit assignment or you have to download the slides, you have to go, go to, you have, you need to go to the Moodle. So, this is the login button, you have to log in there. So, so I am logging as a username is a nug center. So, you have your username, you log in with your username and password which you have. So, when you log in in Moodle, so your name will come here, it is not my name, but <laughs> so your here is the courses which you have registered for. So, you have registered for this solar photovoltaic. So, it will be here. So, all so you have to do this like you need to go to the this course by clicking here. So, it is currently it is like that because course has not started yet that is why nothing is there. So, how it will be look I will tell you by going some old courses which run here like this. So, this is the course which run in December, the workshop was on database management. So, so there are these three columns you have to notice this, this is the first leftmost corner, this is second and this is the third column. So, these two column called as a block and this one is called as a section. So, in the section you will find and the section is divided in a subsection. If you see this bar, this yellow bar contain the whole like notice, it is like important notice which you have to do like click here to fill workshop feedback, feedback form and all those things. But this will come in later you will come to know the use of this. But important thing is this column, this subsection which is the, this is divided as a on the basis of day. So, day 1. So, on the day 1 professor will be put the slides here. So, I will tell you first step like how to download or some slides which professor put on the website. So, in this section side you will find the all lecture slides. So, this sign is the slides chapter 1. So, this contain the lectures. When you click here, so it will download the, so, so you can download this and save, you can save it in your computer. So, this is the lecture slide. So, so you, this is your course, yeah, this is your phot solar photovoltaics course. So, you will, in this bar you will find, th this section is divided per weekly. So, in this section here, you will see all the lecture slides. So, when professor will start the lecture, he, he will start putting lecture slides here. So, this is the first step how to see lecture slide. So, now second step is when you have to see some assignment where you you have to submit the assignment or where you have to weave the assignment. So, professor will make here the bar, this hand bar means submit the assignment like this hand is showing to submit assignment. So, he is saying assignment submit basic SQL. So, when you click here, so it will go to the this. So, this is the intro the problem statement he will describe and there is the link to submit. So, there must always be the deadline will be there. So, like Monday 13 December is the assignment available and the last date is 16 December. So, so this is like you can upload the assignment by selecting this, by going to your computer if it is in desktop. So, you, if you have, if this is the assignment, so open and upload. So, your assignment will be submitted and you can see it here. So, this is the way of sort of submitting assignment. Yes, sir. Hmm. No, no, it depends what type of copy. Like it's a PDF copy you have to submit. Only the digital copy. You okay, you mean hard copy? No, in computer you can submit only digital copy, the PDF or whatever.
Uh, okay, you have scanned it, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's possible. You can it, after scan you be, it become a JP, some JPG file, right? Yeah, or PDF, whatever you can submit. From browse you just from browse you just need to find where is it your file and submit it. So, yeah. Huh. This assignment, this will be evaluated by professor or by teacher or by TA. Yes. Assignments are not downloadable. No? If the file is not downloadable, yeah, you can download these lectures. Assignment. Like. Yeah, assignment is like you can professor can like you know right here what is the assignment like there is a two way the professor can check like how many students have submitted the assignment or not the candidate is given with the pass as a teacher right actually first I like let me explain how to do work as a student so like first of all I want to explain what basic thing you have to need as a student here so, so first thing like This is the way you see the assignments like professor will provide you know assignment, assignment every day there are like assignment 2, assignment 3 will be there or for every day there will be lecture slides also there. So, you can download and you can submit the assignment. So, there will always be deadline for assignment. So, you have to keep the track like the like deadline is like Thursday. So, you have to submit before that otherwise this link will be gone. So, you have to keep you have to keep take care over this. So. So, other thing is it is like if you have to discussion there is a discussion forum you know if you have some doubts like you can ask in Moodle. So, a forum is there. So, this is the forums the discussion forum either you can start the forum or either professor can start forum. So, like I have started forum in your this in this year course like by clicking in this left side there is a this forum you know this activity under this activity block there is a one forum. If you click on the forum, then there will be news forum will come. So, you, you need to one more click here. So, you will see all the discussion here like here is this introduction. So, it is like when you click on this discussion introduction, so there will be like this like let us know all of us please introduce yourself. So, you can reply this. So, by clicking on reply you can reply. Hello. So, and this is the post to forum. If you click in mail now, I will explain what is mail. Or not. So, like such, you either you can you know you can put any attachment with this post like email you attach attach some file while emailing. Similarly, you can attach some file if you want with this forum. Suppose somebody asks, can you have some slide in a discussion forum? So you can yes, I have this slide, or you can upload that file. Okay, so post to this forum. So, like you have 30 minutes if you want to add it. Suppose you you write some wrong, so you want to add it, you can add it. So this is the way discussion forum is done. This is very necessary because if you have some doubt, the discussion forum is the most important tool here. So this is a very simple, I guess. So, or so if I tell you the this this is a course database which run last year in December. So, this is the forum. So, so these are the professor Sudarshan has started these all these discussion like answer to some questions, ans assignment submission issues some you would like this. So, these are the way professor mostly interact with you while even they does not reply on email, but this discussion forum is the most effective way to communicate with professor or with the student also. So, this is the most three thing like how I, this is the assignment forum and lectures downloading lecture slide. So, like thing is these three thing you will found here also always in this subsections and here also there is this, this in the right left most side there is this activities. So, it contain all this thing you know assignment forum and resources resources like lecture slides if you click on this resources it will tell you about the all the resources in your in that your course. So, it is like collectively provided here. 
rather than here is like you know they are discard all thing clustering here assignment and slide if you want to see only resources so you by clicking here on resources you can see all the resources like you know this setting up eclipse tomcat chapter 5 chapter 5 these are slides of chapter 5 slides of chapter 4 or if you want to see collectively which are the assignments you can click here assignments so it will tell you all the assignments which are there so assignment basic sql more sql sql ddl so all the assignments are there if you click here you reach that assignment link and actually usually in this introduction part professor will provide the you know what is the problem statement here you can read the problem statement or you can submit or either he can provide pdf file but mostly they provide problem statement here only so this is the thing if you suppose you want to change your password so you need to click it at your name here your name must be here so nagesh karma change password so you can change your password here you have to write current password and new password and save so it will be changed and your all the your email while whenever you start forum you want you get email whenever some if professor has started or your colleague has started you always get email to your this email id like here this sorry yeah like here is this email nags@itv.h so the email id which is there you will get email always there so if you have any doubt in this student section you can ask moodle is like open source software you can install in your university or in anywhere so somebody had asked me about how to see assignment in you so you ask me how would we point just that okay suppose i am a teacher now i am i am acting as a teacher you know right so i am a teacher of this course like if you must be a teacher in your university so like whenever i click in this assignment right so this will show me this submitted basic sql is assignment it tell me like 844 submitted assignment if i click here so uh, so i will see all the assignments like submitted by this like vinita is somebody who has not submitted assignment <laughs> no no there is <laughs> like this bharitan hasan narya he submitted this assignment right if you go yeah suppose as a coordinator you are a coordinator of gandhi nagar so in these are a separate groups right many universities are participating so if you are a coordinator of suppose manipal institute of karnataka so these are the students from manipal only so these are the assignment and by checking you can grade here you can put the grade here. so this is the way you can see the assignment submitted assignment or suppose you want to put some lecture slides this is a editing on there is when you as a teacher there is this button turn editing on when you start editing on like suppose there is a add resource suppose you want to add some slides right uh, you will not able to then i it's thing it's like it will get complicated if i explain as a teacher no yeah. so this is by you know this add resources you can like compose a text page so you can compose assignment as a online text and like you suppose anything i So this is the text which you want to add. 
but this thing you are like this thing is not currently not useful right now like this will be useful after if you are a teacher in some your university but currently those thing how to download the lecture slide how to ask questions in discussion forum and how to submit the assignments are the most important thing right now or change the password so, no uh, you people no no not you are here as a student in bus, in terms of moodle right now you are a student and professor is a teacher but when you are a teacher you can add any body you want if you start using this you will get through it it's very simple uh, this is a open source software you can download it from moodle.org download it there is a step wise instruction how to install it and all this you can download it's like it's like content management system it contain the content only so you will get through easily when you start your course it's like gmail or facebook